Corks Red FM. 104 to 106. Been a tough pre-season. It's probably not the nicest time of the year to be a professional rugby player um, with all the training and stuff. And uh, But it's been pretty intense, I think, um, after a disappointing year last year by, by our own standards. I think uh, we certainly as a group need to kind of get back to winning ways and get back to a bit of better performances and more, um, I suppose, more consistency in our performances. And um, we've worked hard in pre-season and there's a lot of competition in the squad now. Um, I think uh, the lads recruited well during the, the off-season and um, I think we've all been given a message that, uh, you know, we have to up our performances individually and collectively. Liam, you were saying last week, he was just talking about competition for back row. He said when he joined in 2001, he named a couple of people, Williams, Langford, Alan Quinlan. Yeah. You skipped forward. I mean, are you, you're still as uh, fighting as, for your place as ever? You're still as enthusiastic yeah, well, um, as ever? Yeah, of course. Um, I wouldn't be here if I, uh, if I didn't want to be on the team. Um, I've said it before that um, I don't want to be making up numbers here and, and, and um, taking a salary for the sake of it. I think they've, the lad Munster, Tony and, and, and his selectors have shown a bit of faith in me by offering me a, um, another deal to try and be here and um, I suppose it certainly there's a lot of competition there and um, I'm just trying to focus in and help be, be an important uh, player for the team and for the squad and, and certainly I want to play in the team and you know if I don't get selected I'll be, I'll be disappointed and I'll try and, try and do whatever I can to be on the team. Um, I'm under no illusions that there's a lot of competition here and, and no one deserves their, their place on the team. Um, so it's, uh, I suppose it's been a bit of a clean slate for everyone. Everyone has been given, um, you know, I, think, I don't think there'll be as much patience with, with underachievement this year. I think um, if we don't perform, there'll be changes in the team. And um, it's up to myself as an individual to try and uh, improve my performances and try and get to a level that gets me onto the team and um, that's my goal you know because obviously you could have taken other softer options not playing options that were or not playing full-time options that were probably on, on yeah, the table yeah I want to play I think uh, um, I suppose um, I still have the desire to, to, to win things and uh, certainly last year was a big disappointment and, and, and uh, it kind of I think we're all as a group there's there's a bit of desire and hunger there to try and you know, get back and get that good feeling within within the group. I think it was it was a disappointing year. Um, we know we can do a lot better, and and you know, still it shows um, <clears throat> the quality of the, of the, of of the club, um, the way the club has grown over the years. That uh, we still got to Heineken Cup semi final and Magnus League semi final. That um, shows a bit of character and a bit of um, pride in 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 what we do. But I think you know, technically our performances were were poor. And uh, our goal this year is trying to trying to improve ourselves technically as a team, and um, you know play better rugby, and, and probably uh, look like a team that can that can, that can win things. And um, you know we've done that in previous years, and we've had success. So there's a lot of competition there, and I think everyone's on the same wavelength about wanting that success, coaches and players alike. And individually and collectively we have to make sacrifices big sacrifices this year and and for someone like me i think coming you know possibly the last season i, I want to try and i want to try and play play in the team and win something um so i think everyone else feels the same they want to try and win and um pre-season has been tough and i think we've had two good trial games now and and, and you know it starts next week with the competitive stuff when you under underachieve and underperform like from our standards last year, I think some clubs would be happy to make the semi-final of both competitions. And and but I think we, you know, we've looked at lots of aspects of our game, and our set piece was something that let us down last year. And there's been a lot of work on the scrum and 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 the mall um, in pre-season. And you know, it's something I think everyone knows. We prided ourselves on on our set piece for a number of years, and. Um, we want to try and get going on that again and make a big improvement. How much extra work did you do in scrums? I mean, from from the previous season. I think we've just trying to. Uh, it's it, we've just had longer hours. I think um, we've just spent uh, a bit longer out in the training pitch, and obviously with the fitness and medical staff, um, you have to be careful with how long you spend on a training pitch, and, and certainly in pre-season, um, they've managed the thing very well this year. Um, with injuries and stuff like that, you stay out too long and you have too much intensity and people pick up injuries. So we've been very lucky so far. 
Um, but we've certainly spent extra time. We certainly spend extra time out on the pitch, and it's something that the players want and the coaches want. Alan, I think probably if you look back at the season that was that was in it, particularly the Majors League, discipline was a problem, um, as it was, by the way, with Leinster and Connacht as yeah. well, in in terms of picking up yellow cards. So nothing dirty or anything like that. But, yeah. but there were a lot of incidents of yellow cards and key moments going against you in, in different matches. Yeah, um, certainly. It's, it's, um, I think with the, the laws have changed over the years with the breakdown and uh, you know the interpretations have changed a few times. The referees' interpretations are different. Certainly, we know and I think any, any team knows that you know, it's, it's never any, uh, anyone's intention to go out there and, and concede penalties, lose people to the sin bin. And, um, it costs the team nowadays. It can be uh, you can be punished heavily when you're down to 14 men, and also penalties, shots of goal. It's something we probably let ourselves down on last year as a group, and uh, it's, it's it's something we've looked at this year, and um, we need to improve on that. And if you win, I think if you look at the the two years where we had that success in the Heineken Cup, um, discipline was was good within the team. We didn't give away cheap penalties and uh, we didn't have many people in the bin. So it's to have success, you need to have good discipline and uh, it's something that we need to improve on. So you're conscious of... Uh, but uh, conscious of lots, conscious of, of lots of aspects to our game that we need to improve on. <clears throat> I think we, from last year, we, uh, the coaches worked unbelievably hard, Tony and his staff, to really dissect the whole season, have a look at all aspects of our game and... and what comes out of it is uh, that what comes out of it is there's improvement need, needed on all fronts. Corks Red FM 104 to 106.